Good evening YouTube, I'm Mark on here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get basically puddles on Roblox. So this is going to be probably a quick video, it's very simple. So my example is just like this hat you know, on the reflection and you could see here like uh, it, it has re you no know, reflection. So how this is done is a Roblox plugin that I'll have linked in the description or pinned comment called Part to Terrain. So once you have that plugin installed, you know, let's say I go to add a block here. Not sure. I'll just make it slate because that's, I guess, a good texture to use. And we're just going to size it up. So now what's going to happen is, is you're going to probably, you know, like if you want to, you could duplicate it while well, you're going to, because what you do is when, when you go to plugins and go to port to terrain right here, you're going to click it and then it will probably be like selected as air. You're going to click water down here and then click on the block you want to turn water, which will be this one. Now. Most of your like water, you're going to want to change your water because I'm pretty sure your default water will look different. So you go here and you go, okay, click on terrain and then go here. So generally your water, my water is like, like really still. So how do you do that? So down here, there's wave speed. So again, you could have wave speed on. Or make it look like the water's generally moving. Like here. Like if you want, you can have wave speed on. But we... But for puzzles, we have that off. So, you know, you go here. Like, it, sometimes... You know, like if you want a certain... Way... How it's spread out or that. And, you know, you can move it. So, here we have loads of puzzles. Also, another thing you are meant to do is, like, wave side. You can make it so that, you know, the whole area is almost, like, flooded. Or you can make it when you add more. There will be some areas where it's, like, without, you know, the more wave, you know, the wave size, the bigger it goes, like, the, the more, you know, it looks more flat. So you usually want to keep it maybe off. Well, not off. Maybe Or maybe at like two or three. It's your choice. And then once you set your water transparency to one. Because if it was like that, then it's like blue and it doesn't look good. So you want it to be at one. And your water reflection should be at one. Because, you know, if you do it like that, then... Then it'll be only it will only make the block look kind of like shinier. So you want it to be transparent. So I guess I don't know if you should change your water color because like it's not really doing anything here. So yeah, that's how you get puzzles. You could, you know, th the thing is again like let's say if you make a lake, since this is applied to all water, your lake is going to be, you know, still like this. So, yeah, that's my tutorial. It's a very quick, very simple. And, it, and uh, you know, a lot of things like will reflect on Roblox water. So if you see here, let's make this, you know, this color. You can see down here, it's, ref it's reflecting. Isn't that amazing? So, yeah, it's that simple. I hope you guys enjoyed the, this video. If you need help, leave like any criticism or anything like that in the comments if you need help you know state what you need in the comments and yeah that's that's all i have to say about this plugin and yeah